Hey VC, uh, this is Brian again, aka Cosmic Vinyl. Um, just a couple of things of business before I get started with this video. Uh, this is my second video, by the way. Um, this might be a little confusing, the name change. I called myself in the first video the Vinyl Villain, which isn't something that I really, it was kind of a spur of the moment thing. Um, I didn't have a name, so to speak, and I didn't really want to use that one, but it was my daughter and I thought, well, let's just use it for the video, we'll edit it off if we need to. Um, but Cosmic Vinyl suits me a lot better. Um, I love, I'm a big fan of all things cosmic. Um, I collect comic books. I, the, the best comics that I like are the ones that deal with like the cosmic universe and stuff like that. Kind of like the stuff that's going on in the movies right now, like the Infinity War stuff. Um, I, my favorite member of KISS is Ace Freely. So anything space and, and cosmic is my thing. So we're going with Cosmic Lionel. <laughs> there it is. Um, another thing, um, on the last video is some shout outs that I didn't get in there that I really wanted to. Um, definitely uh, uh, Jay from uh, Vinyl in the Van, um, Hog Ear Report, I love that guy. Uh, Bo from um, Earhead 6. Um, let's see, uh, I think those are the ones that I left out that I really wanted to get in there. Also, Andrew from Tales of the Crate, which I'm using his idea for the deep cuts that, the, from his most recent video um, as my topic for this video that I'm doing. Um, it was a real great idea. Um, a lot of this, my favorite songs from different artists are the deeper cuts. So um, I, It's like a Gimme 10 thing, so I found 10 albums with 10 deep cuts that I'm going to share. and. Uh, without any more chatter, chitter, chatter, I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw down. Um, also going to maybe do a couple of needle drops in there. Want, probably not going to needle drop every song, um, but I'll probably needle drop uh, a few of them just to give you an idea. So here we go. All right. Uh, deeper cuts from some of my artists. I basically did this pulled some random albums out of the collection. There are no rhyme or reason to the order of them. Um, just because one's later and as number one doesn't mean it's my favorite one. It just, I just, like I said, totally random. So, um, first one. Um, take this out of there. Uh, Rat, Out of the Cellar. Love this album. Um, love 80s hair metal, love 80s hard rock, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, Rat was probably one of my favorite bands back then. Um, this is their first outing on Atlantic Records. Um, the deep cut on this one is, uh, it's the last song on side two, it's called Scene of the Crime. Um, great song about, about a guy kept catching his girl cheating on him and uh, he's letting her know how he feels about it. Great song. I'll do a quick needle drop on it. Uh, deep cut off of Rat Out of the Cellar, uh, Scene of the Crime. Great song, great record. Not one of their hits. Probably could have been. Um, the next uh, album that I chose with, for deep cut is uh, Blue Oyster Cult. Um, Blue Oyster Cult is um, probably in my top three of all time favorite bands. I love Blue Oyster Cult. Um, friend of mine turned me on to Blue Oyster Cult and, uh, when I was in high school and from there I just proceeded to collect all their records. Um, this rec particular record is uh, Agents of Fortune album. 
this has their biggest hit on that, and that is um, Don't Fear the Reaper. I'm sure you've all heard that one. Um, another hit off of this one would be ETI, Extraterrestrial Intelligence. That's one of, another one of their hits. But the thing about Blue Acer Cult is all, they have, they're known, their best songs are all their deep cuts. So um, I'll probably end up showing a lot of BOC albums um, in my videos. Um, the one I chose off this particular album is called uh, Tattoo Vampire. Um, that is, uh, it's side two, track two. Um, very good album, or very good song. Um, it's got a little bit of everything and it's got some hard rock chords and a lot of uh, uh, cool vocals. Um, just, a, just a great song. Um, Blue Oyster Cult, Agents of Fortune, Side 2, Track 2, Tattoo Vampire. My second deep cut. Um, this one, uh, off of the Cheap Trick album, uh, this is Dream Police. I'm sure you've all uh, heard of the Dream Police album by Cheap Trick. Another great, great, mostly an 80s band seen these guys a couple of times seen them in an arena when i was younger also seen them in a small club uh, a few years back and uh just to still put on a great show um look at that inner sleeve i mean that is just so look at those guys that is just so cool i mean how can you not dig that i mean they even make bunny carlos who's the drummer the second guy from the right there they made him look cool so you know they're looking badass there yeah that's a it's a great album the deep cut that uh, I chose off of this one is um, called voices um, kind of a cheat in this one in a little bit because I think it may have been like a borderline hit song um, voices is the side to track to and um, I'm gonna give you a little taste of that here Voices by Cheap Trick is my deep cut off of the Dream Police album. Big fan of the, of the Cheap Trick. Alright, next album up is... Um, Sex Pistols, uh, never mind the Bullocks. Uh, Sex Pistols one and only album. Um, this will probably be my only punk um, album that I'll show on this video but I do have some other punk records that I'll eventually show on some other videos but uh, and that would be punk is really a, a hole in my um, in my collection that I'd like to fill but um, the deep cut off of this one actually they're really their hits off of this would be um, God Save the Queen and Anarchy um, the cut that I like that's a really rock and snotty punk attitude um it's called bodies um just really dig that song it's just in your face uh the content is a bit nasty but it's punk rock you know um just i love this record love the love the uh, the way it looks the simplicity of it and yet the color scheme and everything this definitely is not an original press this is a a press that I picked up somewhere along the line. Um, 
even and it didn't include you know the originals didn't include the submission song um, this is actually a sticker so they added that sticker uh, at some point when they added submission to the record so yep um, bodies give that one a, a, a twirl um, it's uh, side two track two uh, deals with a little bit of maybe some sensitive content but I'll let you guys be the judge um, play it check it out all right um, I'm gonna throw a little stones in the mix here um, this is the album some girls by the Rolling Stones again this is not the original cover the I think there was a band cover that uh, had um, they had to change the cover due to uh, they were using some faces of some celebrities or something they had to um, change the cover uh, this is the one that I picked up somewhere in my travels um, I was kind of torn between a couple songs that I wanted to use off this album um, the one that I chose actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat I'm gonna say two songs off of this um, Far Away Eyes, The Girl with the Far Away Eyes, that's uh, side two, track one. Um, I just love like the country kind of twang to it and um, mix vocals are just, they're almost as if he's trying to sound Southern but yet not trying to be serious about it, just trying to trying to sound Southern and uh, it's, it's, it's comical, it's awesome and it's just a great song. Um, the other song off of this record that I really like, and it's probably more of a hit, um, is Shattered. Oh, I love Shattered. Um, that's the last track on side two. Um, Shadoobie, Shattered. Ooh, Shadoobie, Shattered. Shattered, you know. Go ahead, bite the big apple. Don't mind the maggots. Sorry. I'm a goofball. But anyway, uh, Shattered off of uh, Some Girls, The Stins. All right. Um, grab this out of my 80s um, selection. Uh, 80s New Wave slash alternative slash pop rock section of my collection. Um, Duran Duran, um, their breakthrough album, um, Rio. Uh, the song off of this is Chauffeur, and it is um, the side to track four. Um, I probably will drop this song because it's such a cool song. I seen a, I don't remember if it was like a greatest al al albums of all time or one of those album things on VH1 where they uh, kind of dive into the story of all the songs off of hit albums. And on Chauffeur, they actually have a part in there where it sounds like somebody's stepping on glass. It's like a sound effect. I always thought it was something that was done with a synth or a, um, uh, you know, some sort of sound effect. It was actually, they recorded ice cubes crackling when they poured warm liquid over the ice cubes. Um, so listen for that. It's, it's, uh, it's in the beginning, towards the beginning of the song. It's kind of a... It sounds like somebody stepping on glass when it's actually just ice being hit by warm liquid. So, um, kind of a neat little fact. Um, I'm gonna drop this song on you. It's uh, Chauffeur by Duran Duran. <laughs> chauffeur um, it's funny because uh, my friends and I were mostly um, 
metal, we were mostly into like metal and um, like 80s hair rock and stuff like that. We weren't really into the new wave stuff, but um, for some reason we gave Duran Duran a pass. And I think it was because of the makeup thing, you know, Duran Duran, when they first came out, they wore a lot of makeup and stuff. And I think we just thought, well, I mean, if they're doing it, you know, and the heavy metal or the glam hair metal guys are doing it, we'll let them slide in there. I know it sounds stupid, but you know, we were kids and we were in the 80s and we were living it, living it up. So, um, my next one is, um, off the album Black Sabbath. I'm sure everybody knows this one. Uh, Paranoid by Black Sabbath. This is a great, great record. Um, this is definitely a, a more, a most recent um, uh, repress, but um, I uh, ended up getting this recently and uh, my uh, original's pretty tattered and beat up, so. Um, just got this one basically just for so I could upgrade to a, a, a nice copy that sounds great um, 180 gram vinyl um, just a, a, a great great record um, the track that I chose for my cut my deep cut off of this album is um, Electric Funeral it's actually the first track on side two um, very like doomy um, uh, not, not real hard, uh, like say like an Iron Man or a War Pigs, um, more doomy and mystical and um, uh, brooding, I guess would be a good word for it. Uh, just a, a, a great track. This this album is, is uh, just definitely for me one of the top Black Sabbath records ever. Again, the cover could have been on the... Um, Bad cover, great record um, for the the thread that went around last the 2018 thread. Anyway, I'm not gonna do a needle drop off this, but uh, that's my deep cut on that one. Is uh, side two, track one, Electric Funeral. All right, uh, next one is uh, off of Queen, News of the World. Uh, this album when I was younger I just I loved this cover it was just so cool um, something drew me to it every time I went into the record store or to whatever store I was in that where they had a record section I always was drawn to this and just uh, you know how you know he's a he's a machine but he's got you just look it's almost like his eyes are like human and then he's um, like he just, he, he's not evil, he's just misunderstood. He doesn't understand what he's doing. <laughs> anyway, and of course the, the inner sleeve as well, that's just a killer record. Um, again, I kind of cheated on this one a little bit too, because I think maybe the song that I chose might have had, might have been a hit. Um, there's a couple of cuts though. Um, Spread Your Wings, and um, I just love that song. Um, I've been given this this record and the, some of my other Queen records a lot more play recently due to the, the movie Bohemian Rhapsody. I don't know what you guys thought of that movie, but I thought it was pretty darn cool. Um, big fan of uh, uh, the guy that played uh, Freddie Mercury, a big fan of Queen, so yeah. Um, and if they're okay with how, how it was portrayed, I am as well. So. Um, I'm gonna drop, um, I'm not gonna drop, do a needle drop on this one, but let it be said, Spread Your Wings is my, um, song of choice off of this for my deep cut. Song that'll either, it can make you cry, make you wave your fist in victory, or whatever, it's got uh, everything in that song, so. Um, next one is, and we've got two left here, um, this is, uh, Motley Crue shot at the devil. This is an original copy that I got, a 1984 copy with the pentagram. And look at that. That is just a stunning gatefold. Just love it. Look at those guys. They ain't messing around. They're ready to knock them dead, kid, right? I mean, those guys are killer. Um, the, the deep track that I chose off of this album was. Uh, 10 seconds to love um it's uh i think it's side two and it's like the fourth song 
on the on the record. I am gonna drop that real quick. crew 10 seconds to love boom the crew coming at you gotta love those guys um, my last and final record um, that I'm gonna show in my deep cut video is Guns N' Roses Appetite for Destruction uh, the original band cover um, love this record uh, I believe Back in the day, we uh, when we had cassette tapes, um, we went through probably four or five cassettes of this record. Um, with the, we just played it over and over and over. It was just such a great album. Um, it's uh, there's the back side. I actually had a poster with that on our wall in our old apartment back in the day. Um, so many good cuts off of this. I mean, I consider every song on this a hit. Uh, I mean, it, we could listen to this from top to bottom over and over. Um, but the cut that I chose, and it's always been my favorite song on this record, is Rocket Queen. Um, just love that song. Funny, A funny uh, story about that one time back in, um, in the old days, let's just say. I was in a lip sync contest and the prize was a color TV and it was like $500 color TV which back then was the schnizit, you know, I mean it was awesome. Um, so I lip sync to um, Rocket Queen. Um, I was up against a guy who did MC Hammer, I don't even remember what song, but um, and the way that they decided who won was the crowd cheering at the end. They had they decided who was louder, and so I had all my team, all my people on one side, all his people on one side, and it, literally I thought I won, but um, he ended up winning the color TV. I ended up with a handful of drink tickets, and so I just proceeded to party the rest of the night away. And oh well, had fun doing it. Lip sync. Rocket Queen, I mean, come on. Uh, good times. Um, Rocket Queen, deep cut, the deepest cut on this record. So, um, that'll wrap it up. That's uh, a few needle drops in there, um, a few great albums with some great deep songs. Um, hope you dig this video. Uh, I have some other ideas cooking for some videos that I'm gonna post pretty soon. Um, just got to pull everything together, so, um, BC, a second video in the books, I'm so stoked, um, hope you dig it, um, peace out.